Hi guys and welcome to another quick video tutorial here on the Kiki Manny Photography and Orms blog. My name is Manny and today's tutorial I want to show you guys a quick technique how to work with the quick selection mask tool in Photoshop. Alright, let's get started. As you guys can see I've already on my original layer and now I'm going to duplicate that original layer, make a new layer, double click on here, rename that to shirt and also going to right click that, make it rasterized so it's a very normal layer. Okay, next step, go all the way down to Quick Selection Mask, select that, and I'm going to go to my brush, and over here, my brush size, size over here, and hardness to 100%, I like to keep it at 100%. Then I'm working with a Vacuum Intunus 4 board, so I'm able to change my brush size really quickly via the board. Okay, turn it up and down here on my wheel. For those of you who don't have this, you will have to go up here to the top and change your size over here. Then, last step now, you have to go down here and set your black and white foreground colors to black because with black you're masking in and with ma white you are masking out again so set that to black okay and in the quick selection mode still and now I just want to mask out everything of the shirt so I'm just going to paint with my brush all over the shirt here and as you guys will see then it is in red color because everything that you're masking out has a 50% red color I'm going to do it very quickly over here just paint along the shirt for the tutorial purpose, I'm just going to pay very, paint very quickly here. You should really paint this very carefully and do it very precise. I'm just going to paint it very roughly now. All along the sides. Don't worry if you did a mistake and you've painted over an area. You can always zoom in and switch your foreground colors again over here back to white with X or just the small arrow and then paint all of that that you've masked. It. Masked, you can paint that out again with white. Okay, just very carefully paint all of that. As you guys can see, I painted a lot over the skin. So I'm just going to mask all of that. We missed a little bit over here. Switch your foreground colors back with X to black and you can mask again over here. Back to white so I can mask out again and make it really clean over here. For the advanced users, if you uh, are familiar with a pen tool, you can also really quickly make a selection with pen tool and then just with the quick selection mode, either pair paint it in or even extend your selection. Okay, just over here, X again, change that over there. Okay, gonna move up a little bit again. Okay, forgot to switch again, X, and we're gonna paint all of that out, mask that out, over here. Okay, and over here, just really quickly. Like I said, you should do this really precise. Okay, and over there, Paint that away, and a little bit over here. Now if I miss the little piece again, I can just switch again with X foreground colors and paint it in very carefully over here. Okay, say for instance that's all I'm going to select now and I want to mask out that shirt. I painted all over the shirt and last step that I should do is just go over to the masking tool, select that and directly you'll see that everything that we have painted in has been masked out. And everything that has not been painted in is in a selection and is still selected. So I could do an adjustment layer now on top of that and everything that is selected will only be affected. The shirt won't be affected at all. Okay, so let's do that. On the adjustment layer here, I'm just gonna go back to levels. In levels, I'm just gonna brighten that really a lot. Brighten that up and everything that has been selected has been affected. The shirt has not been touched at all. Okay, gonna go back to my layers here and as you can see on my adjustment layer, I've got my adjustment layer and a mask to that. So we are now able to still adjust on the mask everything that we want to do. So say for instance you did a bad job here via on the shirt, you can still now with black and white foreground colors paint that in or paint that out. Let me show you how that works. If I select your mask, you always have to select the mask. If you see these four borders around your image, you know you're working on the mask. And now with brush again, you can pretty much paint stuff out or paint stuff in. So with white foreground color, I can pretty much paint that effect onto the shirt and with a black foreground color, I can paint this away from the shirt. So if you did a mistake here, you can just switch your foreground colors and very carefully paint that out again. Then also, if you want to maybe invert that whole uh, selection, you can just hit Command E and have a look. Everything has just been inverted and now your layer has, or your mask, will be only affected onto your shirt and the rest will not be affected. So that's one way of working with that. Now I'm going to delete this layer and on this layer, I can pretty much 
now show you guys how to mask something with quick selection and pretty much have it just as a selection. So what does this actually mean? Go back to your quick selection tool, double click on here and now you will be brought into the quick mask options. Under color indicators go to select area. Select that uh, down here under color. You can also change your color of your brush if you want to. I would leave it to red and 50% opacity so you can see what you're actually painting on. Then when you're done with selecting areas just say OK and now have a look. Say for instance I want to just select the eyes. So I'm going to go back into my quick selection mode, back with my brush, change my brush size a little bit, black foreground color as I got said, and then just paint over the eyes. Now I'm just painting very carefully all over the eyes here and pretty much selecting just the eyes. Okay, switch X again. I want to just deselect this a little bit at the top and now have a look. If I press again onto quick selection mode, now we just selected the eyes and I can work very easy with another adjustment layers just on the eyes again. Adjustment layers over here, levels and say maybe also brighten these eyes up a little bit. Go back to my layers again and as you guys can see, again on adjustment layers with a mask chain to that and now I can pretty much in here work individually again on my mask with black and white foreground color and just paint stuff in or paint stuff out. Say again with white I can pretty much paint in on the skin if I want to brighten that up a little bit as well or if I did a mistake X foreground color change that back to black and just paint that out again. So that's really quickly and really easy working with the quick selection mode or working with a mask over here and that was my quick way of showing you guys how to work with the quick selection mode. I hope this tutorial helped you guys a little bit. If you still have any problems, please feel free to write us at team at mannyphotography.co.za. We are glad to help you with your questions. My name is Manny and see you on the next tutorial. Bye-bye.